to my channel. Today's video tutorial is on this look that you see right here and you may or may not recognize it. If you're part of the Snapchat fam, you know that I was rushing around like a crazy person trying to get the MTV Movie, Award, MTV Movie Awards to play on my TV or my laptop or my phone, whatever, and I failed miserably. You guys did this. What I did instead was I Googled it the next day, found the my favorite looks out of the whole evening, put them up on Twitter, and you guys chose this look. This was Cara Delevingne's look. But before we do that, it is Coachella coming up this weekend. I'm going to be there. I have actually never been to Coachella before, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be there with Urban Decay. So if you want to follow the journey and come to Coachella with me, which you're more than welcome to do, then follow me on Snapchat and I will put that right here. You can just take a picture of that and add me there. Moving on, I will uh, now show you guys how to create this look. First, you're gonna need to get all fancy and ready to create this amazing look. Yes, however you wanna do it. Some tea, maybe. We're gonna start off with the NYX Tea Tree Balanced Skin Elixir. This is going to even out my skin tone and pretty much just give me the perfect base for my foundation and the rest of my makeup because this has uh, tea tree oils in it, which are fabulous for your skin. Oh, and did I mention I'm already starting off with a very clean and moisturized face? Next, I'm taking my NYX Pore Filler, and this is basically going to fill in any crevices or any pores that are a little more visible than I'd like them to be uh, before we go in with foundation. I typically put this um, around my nose and on my chin and in the center of my forehead area. Next, on to foundation. Um, these guys are buddies. Can't you tell? Lovely. For foundation today, I'm using e.l.f. foundation in buff. This tends to be very luminous. Uh, it's perfect for this look because Cara Delevingne's skin is very glowy. And to make it even more glowy because it wasn't good enough for me, I added NYX's Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam. Then you're just gonna dab this on, dance around, and what are you doing with your hand? Okay, weird, carry on. Then I decided I got a little too buck wild and added a little bit too much product, so I took my beauty blender and kind of uh, just finished blending it out and soaked up some of the product. And for this look, I decided not to go in with a lighter concealer around my eye area because Cara Delevingne's skin is just kind of very natural looking in this and there's really no highlighting going on. So I just decided to use my same foundation and just go over the eye area with this and kind of use that light concealer. Now it's time to set the look and I really like this stuff. Can't you tell, can't you tell? So this is NYX's Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It powder. I just wanna use something really light because I don't wanna take the luminosity away from this look, but it definitely needs to be set if I want it to stay put all day. So I would kinda just put this over my eyes, dance around, it helps to get it in there better, around the nose area, anywhere that you might find yourself creasing up a little bit. Then you take a moment to fill yourself and do a Snapchat. All right, so, hey guys, this is weird. This is fucking weird. We are in the middle of filming. Which look did we do? All right, that was weird, and we're back. Uh, putting some chapstick on the lips, very good. Keep them nice and moisturized. Now it's time for eyebrows, or eyebrow, if you have one eyebrow. We still love you. I'm using ColourPop's Jet Set Black Brow Pencil. Oh, tea break. And we're back. Okay, you're gonna twist this weird thing up. It's very small, and you're gonna just color those brows on there. If you're shooting to have big, amazing brows like Cara Delevingne's, then you're gonna need to uh, thicken those babies up if you're like me and you have like seven eyebrow hairs. So I'm just recreating her brows exactly how I think they should look on my face and creating some of those hairs in the front of the brow that grow upwards, because mine don't actually do that. Womp, womp, womp. But that's the point of makeup, right? You just uh, make your face look how you want it to. And then I'm brushing them out in between uh, using the pencil so that they don't, no product gets too clumped up in one specific area. Moving right along, we're taking NYX's Underneath It All palette. It's very sexy, very sexy. Okay, yes. First, we're taking this white color and I'm just going to be applying this on the inner part of my lid about halfway across and then taking this down around the tear duct area just to add a little bit of extra highlight. Now taking this kind of natural, neutral, sandy color, I'm adding this to the outer edge and half of my eyelid and kind of blending that up into the crease a little bit, but not taking it all the way in. We wanna keep this super natural, so whatever color that is for your skin color, then go ahead and go in with that. Now for cheeks, I'm using NYX's Matte Bronzer in medium, and since we're kind of using this as a blush too, since Cara Delevingne doesn't have a whole lot going on in that area, it's okay if this is a little more on the orangey side. Going back in with NYX's Liquid Illuminator, it's the same stuff we added to the foundation. I'm just dabbing a little bit on my nose area, cheeks, and anywhere else here, just to kind of give that really luminous, glowy skin look that Kara had at the MTV Movie Awards. But don't get too crazy with it. You don't wanna look like you just smeared Vaseline all over your face. That's, that's just not a cute look. 
And apparently I'm super rude because I was flipping you guys off this entire time. On to lashes, we're using NYX's Big and Loud Lash Primer. This basically is white and just has little fibers in it to make your lashes even longer and just be the perfect base for your mascara if you don't wanna wear false eyelashes. Then to finish off the lashes, you can coat your upper and lower lashes with your favorite mascara. In this case, I'm using NYX's La Amaro. Am I saying that right? I'm not even sure. Um, I added quite a bit to my top and bottom lashes. I wanted them to be very long and luscious. And then I got mascara on my hand and I wasn't stoked about it. In this look, Kara is wearing a very, very minimal liner. So I'm just adding Elf's Liquid Liner in black, just very, very lightly and tightly to my upper lash line, just to kind of define them a little bit. This brush on the, this um, eyeliner is so tiny. It's like perfect for this. This is like my new go-to for doing tight lash line liner. Now that my top lashes are dry, I'm adding some coats of mascara to my lower lash line and I'm um, actually talking to Ryan at the same time. Multitasking, that's how you do it. With NYX's Slide On Glide On Pencil and Brown Perfection, you're gonna take a tiny little brush and get some of that on there, wipe some of it off on your hand so it's not full force and just add a little bit of this in your lash line. This will define your lash line a little bit without being like, holy shit, she's wearing liner. Like people will wonder if you even have it on, like in a good way. For lips, two is always better than one, right? Yes, okay. So to create the perfect shade for this Kara look, I am using NYX's Lip Lingerie and Honeymoon and Embellishment and just doing one right after the other to create the perfect lip shade. Then I got some on my teeth. Wipe it off and carry on. Now it's time to set that beautiful look that you just created. So we're using NYX's Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. You're gonna shake that baby up and then spray onto your face. This will give you the perfect luminous finish. The end is here. It's time for me to go. We have made it. That is the end of this Cara Delevingne tutorial. I hope you guys like the look and I think this is a super easy wearable look for pretty much anyone. If you guys recreate this look or any other looks from the MTV Movie Awards from this year, then definitely tag me. I want to check them out and leave you guys some love. And let me know in the comments below uh, which was your favorite look. Did you vote for this one or a different one? Just a reminder to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you're always notified when I upload a new video. And also, 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 don't forget to follow me on Snapchat so you guys can check out our Coachella adventure this weekend. We um, have a lot of crazy fun things planned. We hope to see you there. But um, if not, we'll see you here again on Saturday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.